We've got Emma Atkins, Charity Dingle, yes. coming up after... <laughs> Half after, an hour or so. After nine o'clock. And uh, Zoe's been in touch. She went, Graham, Emma Atkins is lovely. She was lovely the year above me. Oh, uh, me it? Many years... Well, she stood out. Yeah. Whereas, mm. according to you, I didn't at school. Well, I can't imagine you did, no. You're being quiet and awkward. Many years ago, she and fellow cast members, Kane, Eric and Bob, uh, came to Darwin to, comp to compete in a fell race. Wow. It was a miserable wet day and thankfully there were no casualties despite the tricky terrain. She and Eric gave out the prizes at the end and were very accommodating. Bob Hope went on to be a top class runner. Yes, he did. Bob does an awful lot of running. The Emmerdale cast are lovely. They really, really are. And when it comes to interviews and doing stuff, the, from my experience, and this is like 10 years ago, over 10 years ago, when I did missionary work over in Yorkshire, uh, they were all lovely. There was one person I interviewed. She's not in it anymore. I can share it with you. Can you? Yeah. Woman who played Madge in Neighbours. What's she called? She was in Emmerdale briefly. Anne. Anyway, I might have had her on a bad day. So, and it's, you know, we all have bad days. And if, if you're having a bad day and I end up asking you questions... That doesn't add to your day, does it, really? I don't know. And she came in. She came in to be interviewed. And let's just say she wasn't in the best of moods. She could have had a bad day. I don't know. They had quite a link with Australia, aren't they, Emmerdale? Did they not have someone, Marilyn, from Home and Away in, in there as well? I think they did. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Zoe just says she's marvellous. Oh, and she nice. says, love the show. You two have me howling every morning. Now, Lancashire's Women's Centre works to support women in a wide range of ways. It can be anything from your health, uh, from emotional stuff to finances to uh, problems with uh, addictions. We're all going through different things at the moment, aren't we? We're all experiencing many, many different things. Now, one of their team wrote a poem earlier this week, for so-called Blue Monday. Now, Blue Monday was on, on Monday. It's a made-up thing. Blue Monday's made up. It's a made-up by a PR company years ago to flog holidays. She actually, you'll hear later on that it refers in the poem that it is a made-up thing. But it's still a good opportunity to talk about if you are feeling. If you are not feeling great, it's important that you know there are people out there that you can talk to. But yeah, the, the, the Blue Monday made up thing from a PR company years ago just to encourage you to book a foreign holiday. And that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice to, to, to book a holiday right now? But it, it gives an opportunity to talk about, if you're not feeling great, there are people that you can go to. Uh, it's a lovely poem, and it's written by the charity's patron, local actor, Emma Atkins. You may have heard it's Blue Monday, but what is it? What makes it so? Well, it's apparently not true. But if you are feeling blue, here are some things you should know. It's worked out by different factors like the weather or too much Christmas food. Resolutions not kept, money in debt, and now lockdown, bringing further low mood. So we wanted to tell you we're here to support you. And not just today, we'll help you get through if you're feeling blue or any colour black, brown or grey. We can support you online or over the phone. Please get in touch. Don't be alone. We can't change the weather, but we can help you cope. If you've failed your endeavour, we can reinstate hope. We can't decide your future, but can help you get there. You can refer through our website or give us a call. Visit Lancashire Women and in no time at all, we'll work out together a way to get through. Our welcoming team is waiting for you. How lovely is that? Well, Emma, of course, plays Charity Dingle in Emmerdale and joins us this morning. Emma, good morning. Hi. Can I just say I wish I had written that, but I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was written by Moya, one of the girls at Lancashire Women. I would love to have put my name to that, but I, I'm sorry. I have to, I have to come straight. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. It really, really is lovely. And it's a reminder, isn't it? And, and, and as, as you, it's even mentioned at the beginning of the poem, Blue Mondays are made up things, made up by a PR company years ago to make yeah. us flog, uh, to, to, to help them flog foreign holidays. But we're all feeling, we're all feeling yeah, different things. Yeah, there are so things. many days labelled now, aren't there? Yeah. Except, you know, current, current circumstances, every day is a blue day for so many people. 
And yeah, Lancashire women are there to reach out to anyone whose life is just feeling a bit bleak. You know, mental health is paramount right now, more than ever. Because so well, it's yeah, just g- about making people in the Lancashire region aware that that Lancashire women exist. They're yeah, amazing. Yeah, because we're all feeling different things. We're worried about work. We're worried about members of our family. We're worried about our own health. And a lot of women maybe will be of experiencing feelings that they've not felt before because of all this. Yeah. I, I think the, the main thing is, is to understand that nobody's alone in this. It's, it's collectively a global thing, isn't it? And, and yet you can be in your own home feeling so isolated and cut off. And these amazing women are there to make you feel part of a community. And they, they offer so many incredible things. They offer one-to-one therapy, counselling sessions. You've got couples counselling. You can do a drop-in coffee morning on Zoom, or if you feel a bit stressed out by Zoom, you can just pick up the phone and call them, because sometimes Zoom can be overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone reaches for Zoom during lockdown, don't they? But for a lot of people, that's quite overwhelming and, and nerve-wracking, but you can just pick up the phone and call them. Um, yeah, they, they help so many people just deal with money and debt. They, they create yeah. empo- appointments for that. So, they're, so- they're supporting people throughout such a difficult time you know so how did you come to work with Lancashire Women I went to a gig in Blackpool um a Bon Iver gig and the lead singer Justin Vernon is uh he, he he's so if he he promotes mental health on a on a huge scale and so he chose a local charity whilst he was there and it was it was um Lancashire Women and Adele Helm was there fundraising and she just came over to me and said do you fancy jumping on board and being part of the team? And I was like, of course I do. I'm a Lancashire woman. <laughs> and it just felt really natural and, and organic and made total sense that if there's any way I can promote that wonderful collective of women, then why wouldn't I? You know, non-profit organisation, they're there to help women who are really struggling and people are struggling more than ever right now. You know, no income, lack of income, being stuck at home with a million kids and no space. Mm. To be able to just reach out and connect to another human being is is vital, and and it's important that people are aware they exist. We have all the information for Lancashire Women, so if you want the details or the website, you can give us a call here on oh eight hundred seven eight double three five eight three, and we will pass all the details on for you with work. Emma Dale is is filming, but you, like everywhere, you've you've had to get used to a new way of filming. What's it like? It's weird. It's so weird because it's so draconian, and I'm. I'm I'm free as a bird, as a person. So I'm like, what's going on? Two meter sticks. <laughs> We've got we have two meter sticks, and if, if we if we go um, below the two meters, we get we get caned by the stick. You know, <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> but um, it's really it's just a really different way of filming, and it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. We can't complain about it. I feel lucky that I've still got a job, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, because an awful lot it, of it's people. Really, it's, oh, it's yeah. just it's crap isn't it for so many people but we've just got to pull together and get that community spirit wherever we can access it now Emma, where did your love of, of acting start was it was it at school yeah it was actually I, I didn't go to a very theatrical school by any means it was quite academic but after school we all used to meet and then um, there was a math teacher called Mr Ledbetter and he sort of led the way really um he was so talented and i just thought god he's good I yeah chris what he, chris he was chris so Ledbetter. good he inspired me because emma do you know him what, what, yeah because <laughs> like, leanne come on leanne come on uh, leanne come on well morning emma <laughs> hi how do you know him because he went to the same <laughs> school as you you did and graham did and he was in the year below yeah, you. I was in he, the year He was wondered in, yeah. all morning. He's wondered. You're if, younger than me, Graham. Yes, that's exactly I am. What, I well, do you know? That's what I said. I said she she How must have been in a, in a year way below <laughs> you. She was in the year above you me. You sound older. Ladies. You sound that little bit older. Well, let <laughs> me really tell you. It. Let me tell you, I am not. <laughs> anyway, and on the run up to this interview, I would because I was I asked the question. I wonder if Emma remembers the awkward child that I was at Our Ladies. I said no. With Stop Mr. It. Ledbetter. <laughs> he was he was compute he did maths computers and drama. You had Mrs. Lawton yeah. for English. Yes. Mrs. Oh Ms. my god, this is so weird. What a Mi- flashback. Mrs. Swainbank, who was fantastic. 
Yes. Oh, she was great. I loved her. And do you remember Mr. Sim? He was one of yes. my favourite teachers, maths teacher. He did maths yeah. teacher. Oh my and God, Mr. So Mr. Mr. Bursko for French. Yes. No, wasn't he history? Oh, no, he was History? Oh, oh well, no, Mr. Come... Robinson. Mr. Robson or no. Mr. Robinson was history. Mr. Yeah, Briscoe. Yeah, was French. I, Mr. I'm so sorry. Bursko was brilliant. What about Mr. Briscoe? Oh, yeah. No, nobody said a word to him. When no one messed him. with him, but he was brilliant. <laughs> Mr. Briscoe. We were so scared of Briscoe. But he was brilliant, and he still is. He's, lovely, he's a lovely man. I, I, he's, I sometimes uh, see him uh, around uh, Lancaster. So, Emma, I was in the year the below you at school. Ones. I was in the year below you oh, at that's Our Ladies. Mad. That's, he he that remembers you crazy, performing. Yeah, he remembers you performing. You clearly oh, I, made yeah, an I impact. I wasn't very good back then. <laughs> Did you oh, do a Midsummer no Night's Dream? I did. I played. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who did I play? No memory of me at all. I've, I've got a, such a bad memory. I'm so sorry, but I was in that. Yeah. Well, um, uh, to be and then fair, I always played the boy roles. I was always given boy roles. I was never given girl parts. But uh, but I just ended up um, really sort of embracing it and going for it. I played Tibble in Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> See, the thing and is, they dressed me up in all this black leather and chains. Oh, so I was like, What's no going wonder on? he remembers. <laughs> 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 the thing is, he was thinking, maybe she will remember, because he was editor, I believe, of the student paper. And I thought, well, she sounds like oh, wow. she was probably one of the cool kids, which Graham was not. <laughs> so I was I not said, cool. I was well, a total geek. You were, you, I mean, you were the star of the show. And I was going, she won't remember you. You just edited the little paper. That's all you did. No, Stop you made it. no mark. Rude. <laughs> well, Emma, it's been lovely talking oh, to you. God. It's been lovely oh, talking ditto. to you. Thank you for letting me... Do I need to say the number for Lancashire Women? Yes, or go on then. That? Go on, go on. Okay, it's 0300 330 1354. Or you can visit them online, lancashirewomen.org. And they're amazing and they're waiting for your call. That's lovely. Emma Atkins, thank you very much for talking to us this morning. I told you she'd have no idea who you were. <laughs> I win. <laughs> oh, that's made me chuckle. Oh, she's lovely though, aren't she? Lovely. No idea who you were. <laughs> <laughs> she had no idea. Absolutely no idea. The... <laughs> you tickled me. It has glad... tickled me. Well, I'm glad I've tickled your fancy. Oh dear. Emma you clearly there. didn't. You clearly didn't tickle hers at school. <laughs> <laughs> she had no idea who you were. You're above me. Uh, no, is it? It's very interesting. Yes, very interesting that she talked about the teachers there and mentioned Mr. Ledbetter. Yeah, you did. You did. Because he was, he got, because uh, it wasn't a very, it wasn't a performing arts school. <laughs> it wasn't like fame. Surely It not. wasn't like the kids from fame. <laughs> uh, it's just, I think it's a sports college now. It's all, it's, it's all different. Anyway. But the, that, he sounds like a teacher who clearly oh, made brilliant. a difference. He was. He, he, you, you've always mm. remembered him. Him, and Mr., him and Mr. Briscoe. Did. Yeah. Who, in terms of discipline... They were strict, yeah, but but funny. You had respect. You, there was they a line. Yeah, respect. there was a line that you knew you couldn't yeah. cross, but you could have a laugh with him. The scariest thing I ever did, ever did. One of the scariest things was I went to there was a former teacher dinner that they asked me to speak at. Emma mustn't have been available. No, she mustn't have known. No, she, 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 she must have, have been busy. She would have known she, who you yeah. were. No, well, she must have been busy because <laughs> because they booked me. And uh, the editor of the I got to sp I had dinner with my former teachers, calling them by the first name, which was weird. Yeah, weird. It's hard, that isn't it? And I had to do a little speech. And I've actually I've given a speech at, at my old school. Right. And oh yeah. And she still doesn't know who you are. Yeah, I gave a speech to uh, to the students to the students about what well, an inspirational one. Yeah, a motivational speech I gave. Okay. Yeah, unlike you who just. Keep on knocking me down. I just keep your feet on the ground. No, I didn't want you to get all... Can't be dealing with people like you. Showbiz. I don't want you to be all showbiz. I'm sick it's not who of, you are. No, I don't... People who knock people down, I can't be doing with knockers. 